look, salespeople, commission salespeople, are in the most competitive environment there is. Okay? If you do a really good job and you show off the vehicle wonderfully and the customer loves you and um, thinks you're the greatest person in the entire world but they don't buy from you, how much have you made? Zero. Zero. Okay? You are in the tr true, truest of all win or lose professions. You either win or you lose. There is no second place, okay? A baseball player signs to play for $12 million a year. He sucks. How much does he make? $12 million a year. Basketball player signs to play for $20 million a year and he sucks. Makes $20 million a year, okay? Professional athletes, for the most part, get paid to play. They don't get paid to win. Golfers are different, okay? If you play on the PGA Tour and you don't make the cut, you make nothing. Okay, but if you play on the PGA Tour and you make the cut and you don't win, you still make 80 or 90 grand. Okay, so they get they pay all the way down to third, you know, 40, 50, 60th place. In our profession, first place is the only place that pays. Okay, Quincy, customer comes to see in to see you. You don't close them. You will learn to follow them up. Okay, that same customer comes in to me at my store. I don't close them either. I follow them up as well. When I follow them up, I'm told that I was a great guy, and it was a photo finish, and I lost by a nose to Quincy, um, but they'll consider me next time. What's my reward? Nothing, okay? You win or you lose. So if you're in a profession that is a win or lose profession, might practice be important? Absolutely. Actually, this is what we're doing. We're practicing, okay? Um, most people suck at what they do, whether they're golfers, baseball players, or salespeople, because they don't practice. Okay? I was a fairly decent golfer. I played golf in college. I played for a college team. But I had natural talent. I didn't practice. Okay? Practice was tedious. Practice was boring. So guess what? I never got any better. All right, I remained an average golfer and still am to this day for the rest of you know, my entire life. I've got friends who practice a lot. I mean, they're, they're very good golfers. Do they have more talent than I do? No, but they've got a better, more dedication and more commitment. But to my profession, I practice it all the time, okay? Whenever I'm on your property, I work for you. If, if, if you ever see me, like, like later on today, if I'm wandering around the showroom and you got a customer you're having trouble with, I'd be more than glad to help you. Okay, not just with Motor Trend. My expertise is closing. My expertise is handling objections. There's not an objection a customer can give me that I am not extremely well prepared to handle three, four, five, six, seven different ways. Doesn't mean they buy what I've got to say every time. Nobody closes everybody every time. But a customer cannot, cannot, as long as they're speaking English, give me an objection I am not well prepared to handle. And that's what you have to be. That's what you have to do. I mean, because, you know, we, I asked this question earlier, is this job fun? This job is fun if you're making money. If it's not fun, it's a bitch. We work long hours, we work nights, we work weekends, we work holidays, we get abused by consumers, abused by management, um, and we work on commission. Most people in this country can't do what you've chosen to do. It takes a special person to do this job. Make no mistake about it. How long have you been doing this? Okay, good for you. That's strong. Lewis, how long have you been doing it? Okay, good for you. You're a veteran. How long? Okay. You've seen, you've seen plenty. And by the way, if you weren't any good at it, you wouldn't still, you wouldn't still be doing it. <clears throat> All right.